Hey, it's Chris here from Bowrer Trout Fitters. Today I'm going to show you how to tie the Goose by a Lightning Bug. And for hook choice, I actually really like the RX Freshwater Series. This is a traditional nymph. It's barbless. And it's similar length to a 2XL hook, so it'll fit this bead. For a size 16 hook like I'm doing today, I'm going to use a 332nds bead. Tungsten, gold, or silver works great. We've tied on our thread, but we're not going to dress the whole hook because we're going to attach some uh, OT20 lead wire. I'm going to tie it right at the top of the bead, just a few wraps to lock it down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the wire around and make like a small ball right next to the bead. This fly really wants to have a very thin body and then this ball-shaped thorax. We can then advance our thread all the way down the hook to the hook bend. We're going to tie in our tail. Now, I really like using dyed pheasant tail fibers uh, in various colors, but for this fly, I like a bright green. I'm going to tie the tail about the same length as the hook, and then we're going to put in a wire for our body. Now, I'm going to use a very fine wire here, and I like a silver wire for this pattern, but the beauty of the lightning bug is you can tie these in red or gold, many different color variations. So I'm going to advance the thread back up to the lead ball. I'm going to put a half inch in to lock it in because now we're going to use the rotary function on our Renzetti vise here. So now I'm just going to rotate this fly and I'm going to wrap that silver wire. Uh, you want to get nice tight wraps, so do a better job than I'm doing here on this particular fly. You could absolutely mix two different wires if you wanted to have more of a staggered effect as well. But for this one, we're just going to go bright silver. I'm going to wrap that down, I'm going to lock it off with my thread, and now we've got a nice thin profile body. Time for our flashback. We're going to tie this in. I like to use like a magnum flash shabu or a two millimeter thick pearl tinsel. Again, you could use different colors like gold or red if you wanted to, but I like the pearl finish. So now we're going to tie our thorax and I'm going to use a peacock hurl here. I do like a dyed peacock hurl. A bright green like this is very different from the natural color. Two strands, and I'm actually going to wrap them around my tying thread. This way they're going to have a little bit more robustness because it is quite a weak material. Wrap that up and just make a small, short, ball-shaped body. We're going to lock that down, and now we're going to go to our goose bites for the wings. Now, people often use pheasant tail fibers here for the wings, and you certainly can, but I just like the goose bites. I like the profile it creates, and it also doubles as a kind of back swimmer pattern especially in this color where that silver wire looks like air bubbles on the body. We're going to tie those two goose bites in about the same length as the shaft of the hook. Then we're going to take one more piece of hurl and just wrap it over to cover up those thread wraps. Fold over the flashback, lock that down, and your fly is ready to be whip finished and completed. And the lightning bug is really one of my go-to winter nymphs. A lot of weight there with the bead and the lead body and the wire wrap makes these go down deep into the water nice and quick and get into the strike zone. But I do love the flash on them. And you know, for some reason, when you're fishing slow, deep water in the wintertime, all these different colors, they're very bright, they attract attention, and they work fantastic. So give them a try. Nice, easy fly to tie. And remember, you can get all the materials for this fly and so many more at bowrivertroutfitters.com.